Hi, I'm Rob Van Rappers. Welcome to NBA Now. With us today is Mike Frattentoni, the Chief Economist for the NBA. He and his team have been tracking this forbearance data closely, and we'll be here to discuss it and give us an outlook on the overall market. Mike, thanks for, for being here. Thanks, Rob. Mike, what is the latest forbearance data showing us? So for four weeks now, we've seen the share of loans in forbearance decline. We're a little less than 8.2%. You know, we started this survey in April and have data going back to early March. Take up on forbearance is extremely rapid, right? We had that awful job market in April, a lot of people in distress. People uh, took the CARES Act forbearance and were able to get this relief from their mortgage payment for a period of time and really rapidly ramped up. You think, you know, eight and a half percent, which was our peak level, that's 4.3 million households uh, getting forbearance on their mortgages. So uh, we have seen it come down as we've seen a little bit of improvement in the job market. Big uncertainties about what's next. Let's talk about the housing market for a second. We've seen record lows with rates. How much lower are they going to go and how is that going to impact both refi and purchase demand? So big, big uh, plus for the refi side of the market. They're really the only thing that matters is the level of rates. As you mentioned, we're at record lows. We think they're going to go even lower. Treasury rates remain at about you know, 0.6%, unbelievably low. The spread between mortgage rates and treasury rates has been crazy wide um, just because of capacity constraints in the industry. That's starting to come in now, and treasury rates are staying low. So we think you know, we could be below 3% for some of these uh, mortgage rate surveys here shortly. Uh, on the purchase side of the market, we've seen a strong rebound the last couple of months as states have reopened. Um, don't really know exactly how strong it's going to be for the full year, but we think we're definitely going to be ahead of where we were in 2019. So what are you forecasting for the rest of the year in the market, and what concerns, if any, are there? So 2020 is going to be a big year. We think about $2.8 trillion in total origination volume. Uh, more than half of that on the refinance side. Again, those refi applications just keep rolling in as rates go lower and lower. Purchase going to be up. You know, low single-digit growth compared to last year is our, our forecast right now. The biggest constraint there is just a lack of supply. Inventory is incredibly tight, both on the existing side. There's never been this few homes on the market and construction still is slow to catch up from the impact of the pandemic. Yeah, it's been a crazy last few months and it'll be certainly interesting to see how things shake out the rest of 2020. Yeah. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks, Rob.